If you want to find your Facebook username or your user ID, you can find it directly in the Facebook app. If you're on iPhone or Android, just open up the Facebook app, but you can also do this on a desktop computer by just going to facebook.com. Now to be able to find it, we need to get to your settings. So to do that, you'll see at the very bottom right is menu on my iPhone. If you're on Android or a computer, it'll be at the very top right. Just tap on that and we need to get to your settings first. So scroll down here and you can see settings and privacy. Just tap on that to open it up and tap on settings here. Now we'll find both the username and user ID in the settings. First, let's go to the username. So you can see the Meta Account Center. Let's tap on where it says see more in Account Center. From here, you'll be able to see at the very top, we wanna to tap on our profiles. You might just have one or multiple. I have both Facebook as well as Instagram. But of course, this is for Facebook, so let's tap on it. And there you can see under name is username. You can tap on it and it will show you your username. In my case, it's TENACE. 10. Now I can just tap on it to change it to something else if I want to as well, or I can just copy it if I wanted to get that. Now let's move on to getting your user ID. So let's go back out of here and your user ID is different from your username. So let's get back to the just general settings of Facebook. To get that user ID, you have to have a linked service to your phone and to Facebook. So let's scroll down from here in the settings and you're gonna look for the option that says apps and websites and tap on that. Now what you're looking for is an app. In this case, I just have Spotify linked to Facebook. If you don't have anything linked already, you can always just basically link something up. You can go to Google and type in something like connect Spotify to Facebook or connect, you know, TikTok to Facebook or ChatGPT to Facebook or something like that. Basically, there are tons of different services where you can connect a service to Facebook and just log in through that. Now, after you've done that, just tap on any of these and you'll be able to see towards the bottom, it says if you contact them for support, they may, may need your user ID. And there is your user ID. You can tap on the link here and it will turn to a little check mark indicating that you have copied that user ID. Now, keep in mind, this is the user ID for this connection. Keep in mind, there might be a different user ID if you have a different app or website connected to Facebook. So you will need to go to that specific app or website that you may be having issues with or that you need the user ID for and go to it, tap on it and get the user ID to be able to share.